The year was 2007. I was in the library studying a wonderful book called The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. Somewhere within this book, I got an inspiration that I believe could change the world and I wanted to act on it. I immediately created an organization, something like non-profit, and our target was the young people. A few years after, we decided to create an online version of this organization and we created some online products targeted at young people because we were convinced that young people are the ones who needed our message. Unfortunately, our product failed and I wondered why that happened. However, when I was studying, I came across something that will change my business forever and that's what I'll try to share with you in today's video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, here's the thing. When we created the educational product I told you about, we were very sure that the ideal customers to our products are young people between the ages of 15 and 25 and we ran Facebook adverts to target these people but these people don't care. These people didn't care, not because they don't need our products but because they don't want it and it was later I learned this business secret. Don't sell what people need, sell what people want. If you sell what people need, most of the people you target with your products may not even know that they need your product. But when people want something, there's a likelihood that they are already hungry and looking for it. Gary Halbert, the genius. Gary Halbert was a marketing genius who was famous for knowing how to sell anything to anybody. In one of his speeches, Gary asked his audience, if you are to have a single advantage in the marketplace, what would you like that advantage to be? Someone said that they would like to have more money than their competitors while some think having a great product should be great. Gary had a better idea and that is the single most important advantage you can ever have in the market is the hungry crowd that is a group of people who are already thirsty and want water. You cannot sell water to the people who need it and make a lot of money. You can only make a lot of money selling water to the people who want it. Let me give you another example. Think about books and cigarettes. How many people in the world do you think need books? The entire 7.5 billion people in the world need books and should be buying books at least once a month. But that's not the case because though everyone needs books, only about 1% of people read books. Now think about this. Who needs cigarette? Well, probably nobody. But because people want a cigarette, you can find it in every street of your country. Soft drink versus orange. I spent the first decade of my life in a village in Africa. At the village, we ate a lot of fruit even though we didn't know its importance. We simply ate fruits because it's everywhere. However, when I moved to a town at around age 12, I noticed that soft drinks is the king in the town and I somehow believed that soft drinks is luxurious compared to fruits since fruits are cheaper. Until when as a boy, I read a book where an author wrote that a ball of orange is far more beneficial to the body than a bottle of any soft drink. But think about this, Coca-Cola alone sells more than 1 billion bottles of its soft drinks every day. Pepsi and hundreds of other soft drink companies sell millions of their soft drinks too. Only a very few people in the world need to drink sugar but everyone drinks it because they want to. Every living being needs fruits. But it's boring and because of that, nobody eats fruits. You sure get my message here. I'm not advocating that you should be selling things that are harmful to other people. I'm only trying to show you something here and that's very simple. People don't buy what they need. They only buy what they want. Your work as an entrepreneur is to figure out what people want to buy before you think about what they need. If you build your entire business around what you think people need, you've built a fruit shop or a bookstore. Everybody needs books and fruits but most people don't care about them. That's not to say that you should go and sell what is harmful to people because you think they need it. Instead, you have to look for a good point where what people want and need meet. Sometimes what people want is the same thing as what they need and that's a good point to target. How to know what people want? At this point in our discussion, the next thing we should talk about is how do you know what people want and need? The best formula I know as regards this is study what they are buying now and give them an innovative version of it. Let me give you some examples. Human beings have always been social animals. Our ancestors gathered in their villages every night to talk. When we moved to cities, 
we enjoyed meeting and talking with other human beings. It's just who we are and nothing can change that. But if we can create a technology that allows humans to meet, talk and relate with other humans all over the world, well, that's what Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and so on did. Social media is not a new thing. It's an advanced version of what we humans have always wanted. Think about another example. Several years ago, when you entered a library, you'll see all these books and since you don't need every book in the library, you'll need help to easily get to the section of the library you want. This is very simple. Whenever there is too many information, there has to be a way to choose the ones you want and that's what Google does. Google's business model isn't new. It's an advanced version of what has always been. So, how do you know what people want? Study what they are doing and buy now and find a way to create a superior version of that. Study human behavior in the real world and ask yourself, how can we help people to still behave this way but in a better and faster version? Can the internet help? Can some technology help? That's why some dating sites are so powerful. Men and women have always wanted a way to date. We do that in the real world and yes, some smart individuals figured out how we can do the same via the internet. Study what people are doing. Study what people are buying. Don't just create a product because you think certain people need it. Yes, the world needs fruits and books but nobody wants to read them. Create what people want and need and you'll be a successful entrepreneur. Thank you very much for watching our video. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.